Hi, welcome to the instructional videos from OurChurch.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to create a subpage. And so I first need to create a subpage. And I don't want to display it at this time. And I click on Add. And then I'm going to, on the left, click on that sub page. Okay, and under the other settings tab, right above the red save changes button, there is going to be a parent sub page option. Right now it's set to none, so it's not under any page. But when I click on the drop down arrow, it gives me the main pa other pages that I can put the sub page underneath. So I'm going to put it under the about page. And if you notice on the left hand side, it is now underneath the about page. Now because it is not displayed, it's not going to be able to be viewed by anyone until I either make it displayed or I create a link. So here's the home page, here's the about, nothing is underneath that sub page, and if I cl click on the about page, nothing is there. So let's say I am, if I wanted to create a text link to get to the sub page, I'm going to highlight a word or a group of words. And when I highlight a word or group of words, then I can click on this three link chain to insert edit link. Because this is a page that I'm trying to link it to, I'm not going to go to the link URL right here. I'm going to click on the link list drop down arrow and I'm going to make it link to the sub page. And then this automatically sets it up. Click on insert and there's the link attached because it's in blue and it's underlined. Click Save Changes. Now I go to my preview page. I'm going to refresh it since I've made changes and click on the sub page link and then I get to my sub page. That is one option and this is if I have it X'd out or not displayed. So let's let me show you what it would look like if it was displayed going to display it and go back to my about page okay if I go to the about page a sub page menu is going to appear underneath my page and here it is sub page right here and if I click on it I can get to the sub page I don't have to go to that link that I created okay if I wanted to have a setting changed in regards to the sub page, I'm going to go to the brownish gray config tab up top. Underneath the submenu options, if I put a submenu heading links to a list of pages in the submenu, click Save Changes, and refresh my website. If I go now, instead of <coughs> I have the sub page drop down but if I go to the about page all my content from the about page is gone instead I just have this link to go to the sub page which will get me there but any of the content that I had on the about page is gone and this is the setting sub -menu heading links to a list of pages in the sub menu okay this one sub menu heading is not clickable going to change that setting refresh and I go to my about page and I can click on the sub page but my about I'm not able to access it I go to about and I can't click on it so basically, I'm not utilizing my about page at all in this setting. 
So my favorite one is creating a submenu link heading links to a page just because it will allow you to use the about page. Oh, let me refresh. It will let you use the about page, have some content in there, and then also I can click on the sub page and get access there. And again, you can also have a create your own links to other pages as well. Uh, I can always create a link on the about page. Okay, and preview the page. And now I can get back to my home page just because of the link I put there. Uh, but in going back to subpages, let's add another one. Usually with about, you have a lot of information. about your organization. Maybe I want a calendar under the about. Okay, and so I've just created these two pages. They're not sub pages yet. What I have to do is I have to go to these individual pages on the left. Again, go to the other settings tab under the parent sub page put it under the about page. That's the parents page. Basically it's I look I like to look at it as the sub page is the kid and he's holding the adult or the parents hand up there. So save the changes. Go to the calendar page. Go to other settings. Select the about page. And there you have now three pages under the about page and to s preview it again my setting is to have it drop down below instead of going to the about page and having a bunch of other pages in the middle okay it is not you can do a sub page of a sub page it is not recommended so if I go to test and other settings and I want it to go under the calendar page and refresh you can set a sub page of a sub page but it's not always recommended and it can cause some issues occasionally uh, just in regards to how long the title is and what you actually need it for. Okay, but it is able to be done. You cannot do a sub page of a sub page. Um, it just goes to the third level. So one, two, and third. So that is how you create a sub page, the different ways and why you would use that. Uh, if you have any questions, you can email us at support at ourchurch.com.